the red subscribe button right under the video and also the bell icon to get notification on any of our latest updates on the videos. Hello, good day and welcome to another tutorial in the statistics course by Smart Bill Kites. Here is a question that we are to solve in this video. A truth serum has the property that 90% of the guilty suspects are properly judged, while of course 10% of the guilty suspects are improperly found innocent. On the other hand, innocent suspects are misjudged 1% of the time. If the suspect was selected from a group of suspects of which only 5% have ever committed a crime, and the serum indicates that he is guilty, what is the probability that he is innocent? Okay, let's solve this together. Solution. Let's go back to the question together to understand it better. A truth serum, that are a set of people or judges that are, have the capability to declare someone under the order of a court to be either guilty or innocent. So this truth serum has properly judged 90% of the guilty suspects. Okay, so like for example here, let's say there are guilty suspects. So the truth serum said that among these guilty suspects, 90% of them have been properly judged as guilty. They are already guilty and they are judged as guilty. Then 10%, that's the remaining 10% of those guilty suspects, they are already guilty, but they are improperly judged and they are found innocent by the truth serum. So this is the first part of the question. Then there's another part of the question that say, if the suspects, are on the other hand of the question, innocent suspects, okay, there are other suspects, which are already innocent. They are innocent, actually. So, innocent suspects are misjudged 1% of the time. So, the truth serum misjudged this innocent suspect. They are innocent, but 1% of them are, told, are said to be they are guilty while they are innocent. They are misjudged. And you know that the remaining 99%, they are innocent, and the truth serum properly found that they are innocent so this is the second part of the question then the third part that is where the question or where what we are told to find is really there it said that if a suspect was selected from a group of people the suspect of this question was selected from a group of people that only 5% have ever committed a crime. That means they set uh, some set of people in which the, among these people, 5% of them have committed the crime, that they are guilty. We know that. And the serum indicates that he is guilty. So among these people, 5% are guilty while the remaining are not guilty and the serum indicates that he is guilty so the subject matter of this question is there are another set of people that are in this uh, the, the, this set uh, Then the third part of the question, that's where the solution of the question is really. Uh, then the third part of the question where the problem to be solved is really asked there is, if the suspect was selected from a group of suspects of which only 5% have ever committed a crime. Okay, there are a set of suspects here. And among this suspect, 5% of them are guilty they have committed a crime while the remaining 95 percent we know that's the remaining of the 100 percent they are innocent so if just one person among this 
people is picked by the truth serum. How can we know that uh, we are told to find the probability that that person selected randomly is innocent? That's the question. So this is a problem under conditional probability and under conditional probability is under Bayer's theorem. Before you solve this question, if you don't know Bayer's theorem, please go to the theory of that and know the formula of the Bayer's theorem. Now we are going just directly into the solution. So let G be the event of a person is guilty. Let G denote a person is guilty. And we know that if a person is not guilty, he is definitely innocent. So well, if, if the thing is not among the probability of guilty, he must be innocent. That's it. So let me denote innocent as G. So let me denote innocent as G complement. G complement to be innocent. That's anything out of the probability of the guilty suspects. Then this is for real if they are innocent or guilty. Then let me find a way to denote what the truth serum will uh, justify. Okay, let me say G base TS. If this TS means the truth serum, if the truth serum justify this is a, this is guilty by truth serum, and in, if innocent by truth serum. That's GTS complement. Innocent by the truth serum. Okay, from the first part of my question. Okay, from the first part of my question. It's given that 90% are proper, 90% of the guilty suspect are properly judged guilty. So, there are, let me say, probability of those that are judged guilty by the truth serum, given that they are guilty already, is 0 0.9. Then, the probability of the ones that the truth serum say they are innocent, but given that this is a complement, given that they are guilty, is 1 minus 0 0.9, that's 0 0.1, that's 10%. This is for the first exploration. Let me move to the second part, the second exploration. Here in the second exploration, we are told that the innocent suspects, 1% of them are misjudged. So, for this second part, the truth serum said they are, innocent, they are guilty while they are innocent. That's given that they are innocent. This is 1% of the population, 0 0.01. Then, though it's not stated in the question, we know that then the probability of those that are said to be innocent by the truth serum, while in reality they are also innocent, it's going to be 1 minus that's 99%, 1 minus 0 0.01, 1 minus 1%, that's 0 0.99. This is for the second expiration. Then the third expiration, where the problem to be solved lies, said that if the suspect was selected from a group of suspects, of which only 5% have ever committed a crime. So we are told that 5% here are guilty. 0.5. 0 0.05 then we know that from this expression that among those people that the, uh, the the person is selected the innocent of them are going to be 1 minus 0 0.05 that's 100% minus 5% that's 95% 0 0.95 then what is the probability that the person selected is innocent given that the 
serum indicates he is guilty? This is the question. And the serum indicates that he is guilty. What is the probability that he is innocent? So, what is the probability that he is innocent? G complement. And the truth serum said that he is guilty. He is declared guilty by the truth serum. So, this is what we are trying to find. If you go back as I advise you to your Bayer's theorem to find the formula for this, the formula will definitely be probability of one. Then he is declared. So we already have all the value of this after uh, from the question and after driving them out of the data. So now we're just going to insert them, which is equal to what is the probability of G which you have already have the values from the question. This is probability of GTS given G prime is 0 0.01 0 0.01 multiplied by this 0 0.95 divided by 0 0.01 multiplied by 0 0.95 then plus this is 0 0.9 0 0.9 multiplied by 0 0.05 which is going to give me 0 0.1743 if you press your calculator then this is the probability that that person selected out of those suspects his guilt his innocent but the trust serum inappropriately judge that he is guilty. And this is the final, uh, and this is the result of the question. And this is the final answer for this problem. If you have any misunderstanding or you want something more, the we are waiting for you here in the comment section. See you in our next video.